look, here's the thing, man. Bill Maher is still a liberal. Bill Maher will always be a liberal, as far as I can tell. But I think he's starting to get it, man. This guy had some really, really extreme TDS. He may have actually invented TDS. It was bad, but he, here's what I'm saying. If Bill Maher can come around, anyone can come around. Literally anyone can, well, maybe not anyone, okay? The people waving Hamas flags and cheering for Iran, launching weapons, <laughs> they're lost. Those people are done. They cannot come around, but everyone else can get it. And Katie Kirk, big surprise, she must be one of those people because she is out TDSing the king of TDS himself. I mean, just listen to the arrogance and the elitism in this woman. Okay, remember the town hall he had on mm-hmm. CNN about six months ago, and the audience loved it. The audience loved it. I mean, you can't, you can hate It the... was stacked with Trump supporters. Well, they said Republicans and independents. That's what they said. Okay, maybe it was. How'd they get in? If they did, that's on CNN. I, yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I think it then is on CNN, a... and the vetting process well, was... Well, then you got to get a better audience person. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like the person who handed the gun to Alec Baldwin. Yeah. You know, <laughs> got to get good people in all these positions. I agree. Only, okay. Obviously, he doesn't get everything. I mean, these people, they talk about, you know, we need good people and competent people in important positions, but they never really recognize that they're the ones that literally have diluted everything. I mean, they're the ones with the push for guaranteed outcomes, and they're the ones trying to diminish the power and the reach of this mythical, evil, straight white male. And because of that, that means that good people in positions, that's basically the last box that ever gets checked, if it ever gets checked when you're filling a position. But to their point, trust me, CNN tried to skew the crowd at that town hall. I promise you they did. And that is apparently the most liberal result they could come up with. Okay, so if that was about, whatever, if, even if it was, here's what happened. Here's what he, he, people saw in America. They saw Trump killing it, killing it with the crowd. Then you come to a panel of six people who all just do nothing but dump on him and call him a liar. And America goes, oh, didn't you just see that we like him? And He's now, not a stand-up comedian. What? He's killing it. He's not a stand-up comedian. No, but popular, it doesn't matter. He, the people loved him and what he was saying. And then you cut to a panel of six know-it-alls in Washington who just do nothing but talk about the negative. And like, I'm all in on the negative. No one's been harder on Trump than me, but I get it and I'm bored with it. And there's a different way to, to do this, I think, which so is how, to- So what is it? To do, is to not to defend Trump, but to defend the people who still vote for him because what they see on the other side to them is even more dangerous because it's very closer to home. My kid is coming home from school and he thinks he's a racist. He's uh-huh. five. What have you been telling him? Dude, he got there, man. I I honestly cannot believe that he got there. I didn't think it was possible. But Bill Maher, he has gotten to a place that almost no liberal ever discovers. And the reason they don't discover it is because it's all about looking inward. You know, if, if you look at any online liberal echo chamber, actually, if you look at any Democrat party propaganda, any Biden campaign ad or look at any of the stuff. Every word these people speak is a negative word about Donald Trump. There's nothing about their own record, nothing about themselves, their history. Everything is Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump. Trump is a fraud, criminal assaulter. Trump is broke. He's a liar. He's a cheat. He's a Russian. Trump hates women, but he loves babies, but he only loves babies because he wants to put them in cages. And, you know, you get the point. On and on and on. Never, never freaking ending, right? And Mars point, I think, is the simplest thing ever. It's just pure math. But they never, ever get there. The average liberal never thinks, you know, my gosh, you know, if they support that guy that I think all these things about, they must really think my guy is pretty damn bad. And yeah, we do. (laughs) We absolutely, we know. You know, for me, if the only issue was protecting kids from insane liberal agenda, then that'd be good enough for me. But unfortunately, that's just the beginning. There's more. I mean, and Bill nails it. You know, the support for Trump, it isn't all about Trump. You know, we support Donald Trump because woke psychopathic maniacs are literally the only alternative. That sounds simple, but like I said, they never, ever figure out the simple. Uh You know, Uh my my son thinks maybe he's not a boy, and maybe that's true, that happens. But, you know, 
Those kind of things are what they say, that's why I'm voting for Trump. I a, a, a backlash a, to well, the, the pendulum swinging so far Conservative guy once said to me, what? No, no, it's not about a pendulum. Katie Couric is officially insane. Bill Maher is talking about the abuse of children, and she thinks it's, oh, you know, they just don't like the pendulum is swinging so far left. No, Katie, Katie Couric, man, this has nothing to do with a pendulum. We do not trust you people. I mean, from the outside looking in, it literally appears like you guys are complete and total psychos who will literally abuse children. You'll literally, you'll break the border beyond repair. You'll promote a war to kill off as many Eastern Europeans as you possibly can with one breath. And with the next breath, you promote the end of a different war that will cost Jewish lives if it ends too early. You do it all while waving flags of foreign countries, some of them real, some of them fictional, while being damn near allergic to your own flag. <laughs> and these are just the things that you guys are not ashamed to show us. The thought of what you truly must believe in scares the hell out of pretty much every single one of us. What you don't get about Trump is we don't like him either. Now, that's not true for all people. There are people who just love his dirty draws, mm -hmm. and they are dirty. But <laughs> lots of people, it's like that. We don't like him, but he's all that stands between us and madness. That's their view. So that, you, I would like so that view presented. That is not just our view. That is true. Conservative principles are the only thing that stand between going back to reality or an even quicker march toward this wacky, socialist, androgynous, bug-eating utopia that these freaking Fruit Loops have been pushing us towards for years. I mean, Donald Trump just happens to be the guy in the driver's seat. And honestly, the entire world should be thankful that he is. You know, for all the left's talk about Donald Trump being greedy and selfish and self-absorbed narcissist or whatever, he sure as shit is putting up a pretty strong fight, right? No one else on the face of the earth, I believe, could have possibly not only just withstood all these insane attacks, but fought through them. And just think about what they've thrown at the guy. 14th Amendment garbage, special laws invented just to soak him of his cash and make him look like some sex abuser. Another special interpretation of laws that turn misdemeanors that shouldn't even be a crime into magical 34 felonies only because he happens to be Donald Trump. You know, attack after attack after attack, slander after slander. You know, people believe very fine people. They believe he can't remember his wife's name. They believe he called for a bloodbath. All that stuff, man. No one else would still be in the fight. No one else would still be standing. And no one else, I believe, would be winning. And whether they like it or not, he is winning. We are winning. And, you know, whether we like it or not, he is the only thing standing between the same everyday normal American and complete and total woke insanity. I mean, just look at it issue by issue, man. We support law enforcement on the right. They don't. We crave peace. They literally live and breathe war nowadays. The right, we require energy and financial independence. Nothing shocking. And those people, they imagine a world without cows and a world without cars. I mean, it goes on, man. We believe that children should be protected, their bodies and their minds. They believe that Porn in schools and irreversible medications are humane and good or whatever. We believe in sovereignty. They are currently fighting to allow as many illegals as possible to come in as quickly as possible. I mean, issue after issue, man, thing after thing, one woke virtue signal after another, there was literally nothing we agree on, including how necessary Donald Trump really is. But that's just my take, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't already, be a part of our growth, man. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. I'll see you in the next one.